What's up everybody, Edwin here for NE Fishing and uh, we're going to do a special uh, fillet and release video today and we're going to be featuring the uh, beautiful blue line tilefish. Um, my buddy went out yesterday and he actually had a banner day on, on uh, tilefish um, catching several really big uh, blue lines and he got one golden so the fishing was slow on the golden tilefish but the blue line fishing was just amazing uh, he even caught some that were over 30 inches um, and there were a couple that were caught that were close to the uh, uh, world record which the world record I believe is like 24 pounds I'm sorry 23 pounds and, and some change so it was a really great day so here we have a beautiful representation of the tilefish this is the blue line, known for its distinct blue line right here uh, underneath the eyeball. Uh, I'm going to do a little fillet video with this. Um, you can use the same technique on the golden tiles because it's basically the same procedure. Same body type, body structure and everything like that. So uh, let's get started. We start off with our fillet knife right here. This is a uh, Dexter seven inch fillet knife. I'll start off by putting this fish close to the edge here. We'll start off by getting behind the pectoral fin, tilting the knife at about a 45 degree angle and start cutting right behind the pectoral fin and we're going to go all the way right behind the head just like that. There's meat that goes all the way up in here so you want to make sure we get that right there. Considering what it takes to catch these fish, you definitely don't want to be um, wasting uh, too much of it. These fish were caught in 600 feet of water and they were using three to four pounds of weight to hold bottom uh, with some nice strip baits of uh, mackerel and sea robin. That's, that's what they fell for. All right, so we're gonna start off by cutting the uh, 45 degree angle behind the head, all the way behind the top of the head right here. We're gonna grab, turn our knife, turn it sideways Using the tip, we're going to come right here and start to cut right behind the head. And just using the tip, I'm going to glide along that dorsal fin just like that. This is how we make our pre cuts all the way to the tail. I'm going to flip the fish over and do the same cuts. Behind the head, behind the pectoral fins, 45 degree angle, flip it over, same thing, right here on top of the head, and then just follow that dorsal fin all the way down. I don't know if you notice, but keep my fingers on the blade, so I'm always keeping good contact, give, making the knife extension of my hand. All right, now that we've done these pre-cuts, we can actually start to cut right into the fillet, lifting up with our thumb to expose the meat and riding along the spine. Come back up here. As you can see, we got beautiful white meat. This fish was bled out before it was iced down. And it's been in ice this whole time. Beautiful, beautiful, all white meat there. I don't know if you can see that there. All right, I'm gonna cut all the way up to the ribs. And the backbone. Once we get the backbone, we're gonna go over the back, back, backbone and then come back down over it. Make sure we get all that meat Come back up here, top of the rib cage. You gotta cut through these tough pin bones. Some pin bones right here. Cut through them. And then once you do, tilt your knife downwards and then cut down, riding those rib bones down to make sure that you get as much meat as possible. get past the ribs. Once you get past the ribs, fish opens up very nicely. 
And then you just want to make the belly cut going right across and finish that cut. The fish should almost like sipper away if you do it correctly. There we go. Nice beautiful fillet right there. There you go. Alright, we're gonna set that aside, we're gonna repeat on the other side. I'll flip the fish over. So like I said, use the same technique on a golden tilefish, it works the same. Come back down, start cutting into the fillet, riding along the spines. Get down to that backbone. Get to the backbone, go over that backbone, and then come down over it. Come back up to the ribs. Cut through those pin bones. You can hear the knife cutting through. You can feel when you cut through them. Once you cut through them, tilt your knife down. Ride the rib bones down. Make sure you get all that nice meat off the ribs. It's a beautiful, beautiful meat. We already had some in sashimi and it's fantastic as sashimi. Definitely recommend you try it that way. There we go. Finish that cut. nice beautiful fillet and that's what your towel fish should look like you should be able to almost see right through it um, even on small tile fish like this uh, it definitely doesn't hurt to remove the uh, cheekbone uh, as well uh, there is a little bit of morsel there a nice little morsel some say that it, you know it's kind of small but honestly I think it's still worth it to get it will always be served as a little appetizer very simple to cut out there's a bone right here. You can see the difference between meat and bone. You'll find that sweet spot. Go around the bone. And just cut around it. It's like a scallop shaped piece of cheek meat. There you go. Once you cut through it like that. Then you can just kind of peel off, and like I said, it's a nice, beautiful, little scallop-sized piece. Like I said, it takes a lot of effort, time, and money to get these fish, so you might as well make the most of it. Get all that meat out of them. Oh, a nice little morsel. All right, we're gonna discard this. Uh, get yourself a squeegee. It's one of the best tools you'll have for the cleaning table. All right, let's bring our fillet back over here. All we're gonna do at this point is we're going to start at the tail section, cut down to the skin, and turn your knife sideways. And we're gonna push with the knife while we pull back on the skin. 
it gets a little difficult here near the um, top section here there are, the pin bones do hold very strongly to the uh, skin so you want to make sure you push through and cut through the pin bones that are attached to the skin there we go there you go skin comes right off and do the same thing to the other one cut down to the skin Turn knife sideways, push with the knife, pull back on the skin, do a slight sawing motion, and we're through. There we go. Another beautiful skinless fillet. Only thing left to do on these fish, on these fillets, tile fish have very long pin bones. They start from right here from the back of the head go down this line and end very close to the tail here's where they end all the way over here so from here down is completely boneless we gotta cut these uh, pin bones out way to do that is start off with the belly side first cut on that side you'll see a nice strong line right here and these rib bones run straight down they don't curve up or anything like that so you can actually cut straight down There you go, separate the meat from the pin bones, there we go, and then we do the same thing on the other side, we have to remove this fine strip with the pin bones attached. Take your time, no rush, like I said, save as much of that delicious meat as possible. They say that tilefish has a bit of flavor, texture akin to lobster, and it is true. It does have a little bit of texture similar to uh, lobster, and definitely is a little bit of flavor profile there, but it's also got its own distinct flavor, which is just delicious. Like I said, we had some sashimi earlier, and it was fantastic. And this we're going to make uh, for dinner with a little lemon butter, salt, pepper. Keep it simple. And it will be really good. There we go. A strip of pin bones. And this is one boneless, skinless, beautiful fillet. Right there. Put that aside. And the same thing on the other on the other side. Same thing. Start off with the belly side first. Here's where they end. I can you can feel them. This is where they end right here. Go all the way up. Like that, cut on the other side. I find it easier to start off on the belly side first than to start off on the, the top side or like a like loin section. So just cut straight down and you'll remove this nice long strip full of pin bones. Just let the knife find its way alongside those bones. This way you're not wasting too much meat. And usually with these tilefish, they're big enough that you have to portion them out anyway. And um, this cut will allow you to portion them out right afterwards. You can actually cut this straight down save this for sashimi or some other you know you can make ceviche out of it and then you can actually portion out these pieces you can portion out the tail piece and the top loin can be portioned out into two or more pieces um, with whatever recipe that that you know you want of your choice so there you go we have beautiful tilefish ready to go hope you enjoyed that video hope you find it useful hopefully you'll put it to use in the near future uh, and get go get yourself some tilefish it is a lot of work it's uh, it's not an easy trip but you can be very very well rewarded as my, my buddy uh, was so uh, again thanks for watching hope you liked please share subscribe if you haven't done so already and I'll catch you in the next one tight lines